Yo, what is up, Hunkai Star Players Firefly? Early access videos have come out. I've got a couple of them loaded up right here. Doing the same thing I did to Robin. Ro uh, Firefly seems like she is going to be absolutely crazy, busted, absolute super insane mode. Samus is going to be destroyed everything. Holy. I'm super hyped for Samus. Super hyped for Samus. I'm probably going to keep saying Samus starts the video because I keep calling her Samus because I just think of Samus every time I see Firefly. But um, that's who I'm referencing. I'm talking about Firefly when I say Samus. Also, I seen Mr. Poke has one. And if you don't know, Mr. Poke uh, had like a little bit of a scuffle with Hoyo because he like accidentally leaked the, the last creator server or whatever. But they got him back in. Holy blacklisted CC got access. So I guess we'll start with the uh, Poke review here. So you just got going on now. Also, 1.3 mil C0. Oh, you know what, though? This is on three enemies. This is like Omega Inflated. Yeah, this is on three weakness broken dudes. They also, I think they take more damage when they're broken too. Yeah. I mean, I respect it for the, I respect it for the intro showcase, you know? Gotta make her look absolutely juiced. But look at that. Oh my God. That's literally me in a week. That's literally me in a week. Holy. Yeah, I briefly see. talk about fireflies about. from what I've been experiencing in the creator experience program. So essentially, it's split into two different portions. Before complete combustion, which is the ultimate, as well as after complete combustion, which is you know when you cast fireflies. Yeah, I'm interested because she only does damage when she's in her ults, right? So like, how long does it take to get in her ults? That is a big question. All right. So before the ultimate, you have a basic attack as well as a basic skill. Basic is that very normal twenty. And yeah, why is this junk so balloons though? It's just me? Oh, you know what? I think YouTube... No, nah, it's been an hour. Surely YouTube's processed the video in an hour. Also, his video is 25 minutes. I've got five videos, bro. We gotta... I have six videos. What the hell? What the hell? Okay. He said these are level 7 slash 12 traces. Oh, like basic attack. The way he wrote that is kind of weird. I think he should have said, like, they're just maxed. Energy, 10 top... Wait, isn't level 12 C6? Level 7 slash 12. Isn't that C6 or my bugging? This bar, 1 SP, nothing too crazy, right? And the skill is going to be 0 base energy, minus 1 skill. Oh, yeah. Also, if you guys didn't know, in the newest um, Honkai Star Rail, like, devlog thing, the, the something from the galaxy, we now see toughness break values of characters' attacks. Obviously, for the new break meta. But yeah, so if you're wondering why they have this here, we're going to have this when the patch goes live. R1 SP, nothing too crazy, right? And the skill is going to be zero base energy, minus one skill points, consumes 40% of fireflies in max HP, and recovers 60% of a max energy, deals single target damage, minus 20 toughness. But note that this 60% energy essentially means that firefly will pretty much always be getting a two turn ultimate minimum sometime. Two turn ult? What? It's getting even a one turn ultimate if you were to encounter situations like whoa, whoa. if enemies hit you, right? So essentially, you are always going to be entering into ultimate within two turns guaranteed. Talk about the out. Wait, isn't that like the fastest form for any character? Ultimate there's two turn gonna be the complete combustion, uh, advanced extra value by 100%, which is basically like E2 Inhibitor Lune gains 50% break efficiency, 60 66 speed. When she wait, what is he talking about? Her ults. All right. When she ults, she gets sixty six speed, break damage by twenty two percent, weakness break by fifty percent, and then the speed countdown thing, which is like Robin. Pre combustion. Uh I I feel like I got the kit now. I really wanted to know the ults, pretty much how fast it takes to get it. What is this though? Is this a different thing? Yes. So make sure that our Firefly doesn't get one shot, especially before she enters ultimate, she will consume a 40% of her max HP, so she might be a little bit squishy and- 40% HP. 
Holy. This is Trace. It just serves as a pretty comfy option. Also, regenerates energy to 50% every single time when you start battle. So it's going to be pretty good for Simitar Universe. It's going to be pretty good for Overworld. In Memory of Chaos, probably not important because it always does the same. So that's going to be there. As well as dispelling all debuff when energy is regenerated to the maximum. This can be quite... Wait, that's fat. So when she gets ult, she cleanses immediately? That's huge. Useful. Wait, dispelling wait, that all debuff when energy is single time. Where do you say that? Oh, I see that. I see that at the bottom right here. Wait, so she gets ult and she just gets cleansed. I right, she's she's just busted then. I wonder, I wonder if she's just if she's Acheron tier or above she can't be above Acheron, because that would just be like insane. But she's probably the same level as Acheron, realistically. She's probably like the same level as Acheron, like full juice. Alright, this is I feel like we had a good kit review. Let's see signature light cone uh showcase. Sig Light Cone gives break effect, and whenever you do break damage, um, they get a debuff that makes them take more break damage, and they reduce their speed. And increase break damage from the wearer. Pretty busted. Okay. E0 Showcase. Oh, E0 S1. Ron May. Oh, full team E0 S1. So it's going to be showing you guys one more run of E2 Firefly and then finally going to be an E6S Firefly Fly. Just to that every single uh, thing I'm looking at, by the way, all have this team. I think Firefly has like one team right now. I don't think you're like you could probably play her without Ron May, but like you're kind of coping a little bit, you know, because Ron May is just full juice. But you 100% need Harmony MC in your team, like guaranteed. And then Gallagher is just big. Gallagher is big for the extra fire, extra damage. Gallagher is literally like a DPS on your team. I'm not going to lie. Even if you're free to play, that guy does so much damage. It is insane while being a healer. It is like actually crazy how, how good Gallagher is as a four-star. But yeah, look. Every single person has this team. I was looking at Braxis. Same one team. Oh, wait. He's using a Ventrina. Wait. He's using a different sustainer. Um, this was an E6S5 one from uh, Engineering Plastics. God Doggos. Yep. Same one team. Um, Rihu, same one team. Uh, Gooba, he's got the Gooba Sand model. Holy, uh, same one team. Yeah. Anyways, uh, let's see. Let's see what see they got going exactly on. What she's capable of doing. E zero right? S one right, Samus. We are going to be starting on the first half, featuring Firefly, Harmony Trailblazer, Rame as well as Gallagher. Uh, this team is pretty much going to be the best in slot for not just Firefly, but pretty much. I'm thinking. I'm thinking like, what other teams could she have though if she's not using this? I feel like, let's see. Okay, let's see. You don't have Ron May. Who else can you put in there? You can put like a Brania probably. You could probably put like a Brania or a Sparkle. Um, I've heard she has, what is it? She has attack and gets converted into break effect. So you could use Sparkle's passive for that. Um, for a little bit extra attack, which would be some free break effect. Brania is just a full action forward. Sparkle gives you like a little bit of action forward. It, it seems like since she gets, since uh, Firefly has her own action forward, that could be, Sparkle is probably like the same value as Branya. But why are you using your Sparkle with Samus? You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's probably like the biggest waste. You know, it's probably like a, like a massive waste realistically most great comms are going to be running this uh if you want to replace any of these units like for example if you change gallagher out for like an adventuring or if you change rame out for like i don't know like a bronya or something i uh, do expect that to be uh, quite a significant dip when it comes to performance right so firefly team building when it comes to the bro didn't remove his mouse uh, the unit when it comes to restrictions it can be quite high because there's really not a lot of replacements we have right now because we don't really okay we gotta work on this bro we just showcase you can have the mouse in the middle my guy the mouse is literally, yo, you think you gotta move your mouse, man. Of, I think um, it, yo, yo, I think you gotta, well think you gotta move your so, mouse. So, so over here, we are now officially kicking in. So far, also, the damage the has been damage, really, really, really good. Not sure if you guys see the damage over there. And now we're gonna jump into the super break. 405,000 featuring Rame's buff, Harmony MC, super break, as well as all of the damage. So a uh, very, very good damage so far. And I do believe that we are gonna be getting a zero cycle right here. That's gonna be very, very easily Cutting through 281. I can't wait to so I can just play know her. that oh I mentioned God, at the start. Uh, Firefly is pretty much always going to be using this enhanced skill, even if it's against a single target, because 
The nature of how Sewer Break works is Sewer Break's damage, it increases with break efficiency. The Toughness Bar damage dealt by your ability. And True. because our enhanced skill, it will always deal more Toughness Bar damage. Most of the time, if not every single time, you are going to be using Firefly skill uh, in order to deal as much damage as humanly possible, right? So that's going to be that. So now jumping into the path with Argenti, we are going to instantly kill the Trotter, uh, bringing up our Firefly's action value because, you oh know, Oh my god, uh, she's actually going to be so busted in this MOC too with that buff, bro. Because, like, Boot Hill, right? It's, like, really nice because it gets another turn since it's a single target hunt unit. But, Savage, she's AoE. She's AoE already. Breaking that and then going again. Oh, my God. That's oh, We do get an extra just... turn whenever we kill the pig or break, break the pig, right? So, that's going to be very nice. And note that because Firefly applies fire weakness, Gallagher is pretty much going to be a I love very, her animations, very good support though. Her for Firefly so good. because he is also going to be off a fire element, right? So, they can both break toughness bar damage, deal super break, and all kinds of stuff. And notice how Argenti is already at 3% HP, uh, just off the start, and instantly getting into phase two with no effort whatsoever. Just an absolutely the, insane, I feel like break insane amount is of damage, like so even though this busted, is a single though. target, right? So, a uh, firefly damage is definitely going to be there but know that if you are not going to be breaking the target the damage is going to be very very like so you really really need this <laughs> yeah she hit him with a noodle who's not breaker to be broken before dealing any semblance because as you can see just now it's only eleven thousand, and uh just is really not that great right so all right i've got i got the gist of what pokey's saying let's see what the let's see what his uh e6 s5 is looking like actually i have another e6 so we can get through all the videos let's see oh wait no ron may showcase With Pella, wait, wait, I'm interested in that. I'm interested, I'm interested. That? But it's with weapon. I wish he did without. I feel like with no run may, but with weapon is kind of pointless. Yeah, you know, let's see what E2S1 looks like. Let's just Very see how much start. Breaks in for. Nothing too crazy over here. Run is gonna pop off the ultimate, and then we're gonna do the exact same thing. Cards are ultimate. And we are going to be very, very easily going to be breaking a pick right here. And keep in mind, because breaking this trotter, we do get an extra turn. So we're going to get one over here. We are going to get another extra turn because of oh our E2. Oh my god. Giving us back and we are still at very, very healthy skill points. Because, you know, uh, we don't consider skill points anymore. And just completely decimating the target. And then at this point, they can't even we are going to be hopefully getting a kill. And we do get a kill over here. We are going to be getting another extra turn. So let's just see if we get here. Okay, anyway, they already did, right? They just got depleted from existence. Nah. Alright, good review, Poke. Alright, next we have the Brax review. Let's see what Brax let's we'll see what Brax is uh, talking about here. Let's see what he's got going Hello on. Hello again, Honkai Star Rail players. It's been a minute. Now that I've gotten to play Firefly, it has truly changed everything. <laughs> this this changes everything. And it's on the creator experience server, meaning everything is subject to change. This is a special privilege given by Hoiverse. And I hope that I can bring some really solid information to you guys so I can help you guys figure out if you want to pull. And also just kind of tell you what she does, because I know she's been one of these most anticipated characters. I mean, her design is just like adorable. Guys, thoughts on Firefly Banner outselling Acherons? It low key's got the juice. But also, we have our. You know, it's got like the parasocial people, and it's got the people that like Samus, and it's people that like, like Mexu, then it's like the Gundam. Then there's like the people who seem like the trailer, and then they think it's uh, Neon Genesis. There's a lot Mech of audiences friends, which, to grab from. As you can see, it has the whole meteor strike from Overwatch. Yeah, the so, let's talk about what she does. So, this is our Firefly. Now, what Firefly does is actually a combination of what characters like Boot Hill have already done, but it's in a destruction format while also having some cool like hp mechanics and speed mechanics that actually honestly at this point destruction just equals broken what destruction character is like not good uh arlen ah uh, ah uh, brother arlen brother arlen honestly this is arlen's time to shine super break arlen super break arlen this is when he goes s plus tier Wait, Arlen is actually, like, the worst destruction character, though. I think Blade's also been a little bit underperforming recently, too, because uh, there's not really much HP stuff in the game. But, like, he's not that bad, you know? Use Blade, you're still going to clear MOC and stuff, you know? But 
Yeah, I feel like destruction characters are just they're just busted. Destruction forward. Honestly, she has a lot going for her. But mainly, Firefly is going to be a break DPS. And what's cool about her is that she actually has super break built into her kit. Now you're still gonna want to run Harmony MC. That's just like a, a part of super break teams. And there's I don't know, unless they release like a six star harmony that enhances super break, you're probably not gonna replace them. But technically speaking, Firefly can be completely so you technically don't need Harmony MC. You're probably still gonna want to run them though. Before we had technically i want to see here that. are her relics so now she's using the iron cow Dude, how crazy is it by the way that samus is getting her own set and her own planner set like this is insane she's getting her own full relic set own full relic planner set like or reset just going to increase break effect and give defense ignore when dealing break damage and then super yeah, and break then on damage top of that this ignores well. on top defense. of that we have a speed increase and when the enemy has a fire weakness it increases break effect i hope well. i get so a good these two new sets are i feel like i have like 35 fewer right now free to play count and i must feel in like i could get this set you know surely i could get this set in 35 fuel i just need break pieces you know for a little bit of speed on them surely i got that was made specifically for firefly she's definitely a crowd favorite and we're gonna use the free to play on the fall of an aeon mostly because it gives That's attack and i'll explain this again in a bit probably but she does gain break effect off of attack i like playing gallagher for full break team but uh, argenti slaps so now the first thing to know about firefly and this is the thing that makes her similar to boot hill she can actually apply a fire weakness yeah to he's enemy. not she using gallagher in this one by that. hitting her skill when she's in her ult form which is just i mean realistically it would just Sam, be Sam, less Super damage Saiyan. but also when she uses absolutely obliterates the ground. She applies fire weakness yeah, to them for two turns. Sick. So basically, Boot Hill and Firefly are just uh, Silver Wolf power creep, guys. 07 Silver Wolf. <laughs> no, clearly not. Imagine but I do think this is a really interesting interaction because it kind of takes away the need to pick teams around certain weaknesses when your main DPS can apply the weakness to them. So the first thing to know about Firefly and Sam is that when you use Firefly's skill, you actually lose a big portion of your HP. As it says here, it consumes, you guys can't see all of this, but it consumes 40% of Sam's HP and regenerates 60% of Sam's max energy. It also gives I them 25% action forward. So we're going to go ahead and skill, and it should put I'm blocking the thing here, but you can see she pulls up. I Pokey talked about this earlier, though. That's exactly at our ultimate. Now you'll notice we actually just went 50 to full. That's because it was 60% energy, <clears throat> but also there's this cool thing with Firefly where her talent makes it so that if your energy is lower than 50% when you go into battle, she instantly gets 50%. Now this doesn't matter for MOC, but it's just kind of cool outside of that. And also once you get full energy, it dispels all the debuffs on this character. There's another passive in here that makes it so that Firefly actually receives reduced damage. And when she's in her ultimate, she gains effect resistance as well. So that's- Wait, I was thinking about it again. If you- you need to get max ult to dispel the debuffs. But what if you're like sleeping? I guess if the sleep puts you to the energy threshold, then it would be clutch. I was thinking like, oh yeah, you get stunned and then you get ults. And you're just like, oh yeah. But I feel like you'd probably already have ults. You'd probably be in ult and then get slept. So like this would be good for like dispelling like dots or something. Cause there's a there's that one like guy just pe like spews his cans all over you, so it would be pretty good for that guy. So you can just remove all the uh, dots on you. Super nice. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna go ahead and use Royal Maze buff. I'm gonna go ahead and get Harmony Trailblazer's ultimate. And what using Firefly's ultimate is gonna do? First off, I'm actually gonna run Maze skill so I can get a skill point back. Then using Firefly's ultimate is gonna give us 100% action forward. So we're gonna instantly get to go. We're gonna go ahead and skill here, and I'll just show you this animation because it's really sick. You're gonna Dude, get a heal whenever you use so your hand skill, and oh my god, that's so sick. He zoomed now, in too much. Uh, oh, we go again because we broke the trotter. We go ahead, Firefly, get some heals, do some damage, do? break some idiots. Okay. Man, dude, super break teams are- Wait, 168 on one break. Get some- Wait, there. not even a break. Heals, do, do some damage, break some idiots. Man, dude, super break teams are so fun. Now, something that I hadn't mentioned yet, and this is actually a really important thing for Firefly. Firefly already wants to be pretty fast, but something that happens when you use Firefly's ultimate is that you actually get a speed increase by 60 at talent level 10. On top of that, you get weakness break efficiency and you increase the break damage that you deal. And the timing for like Sam isn't actually is, based on how many turns you've taken. It's based on like, one the action aura. counter that starts at 70 speed. Now, there's two other effects I want to talk about. One is that nah, you're based nah, nah, on peep the aura, no. and you increase peep the aura nah peep the aura holy increase the 
there's two other effects <laughs> I want to talk about. One is that you basically are getting super break damage. I mentioned this earlier. Whenever you're in your ultimate form, you have this trace. It actually is going to convert damage done to weakness broken enemies into one instance of a percentage of break damage, which is pretty nice. And as you can see, this will do a pretty big chunk of damage. 496,000 damage. Yeah. And by the way, that is Eidolon Zero with on the fall of an Aeon. If you want so pretty much in a week, I'm going to be doing 496k easily. You know, it's that easy, that easy. I want to see what we're looking at for break of X stats, by the way. Just just so you can get an idea. 497? Wait, from what? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, because Eon gives you attack percent, and then that goes into her passive, and then Ron May, and then Harmony MC. Yeah, actually, that's not that hard to get. Actually, that's not that hard. That's, that's not that fucking hard. crazy. So the thing is, after 1800 attack, every 10 attack you get will give 1% break effect. Meaning that your super break damage and your regular break damage is just... Yeah, absolutely... pin combat, but it's 0.8, not 1%. Absolutely insane. But it's like the same the thing. the roof on Firefly. On to Argenti. Now we get two moves in a row because we got the Warp Trotter. And we'll try to blast as much of this as we can. Just get through some of that bar. Now, this is what I wanted to show you. So earlier we had everyone with fire weakness because we use their technique but what's really cool about firefly and sam is that you can actually destroy the toughness of things that aren't even weak to fire now the weakness efficiency like is how not broken is this character it's only 55 percent of the original what toughness the... reduction however just this being a thing that exists means that when there are multiple bosses on the field or multiple enemies you can actually go through and break them but and then she is going to delete the bug boss the bug boss has like no fire weakness unless it's the guy that's about to blow but she'll just delete i feel like the bug boss is like her biggest uh her biggest weakness or not her biggest weakness the bug boss biggest weakness is samus of course the skill can also apply fire weakness which is super nice the basic attack is not going to apply that but it can still break let's go ahead and break argenti so she has like c6 attack around and passes. do huge damage 218k damage and as you can see here, i was talking to you guys about how the priority for sam shutting down goes and it is finally catching up with us. So we're going to go ahead and use this. And right before the cycle ends, it'll uh, Sam will go away and we'll just have, well, regular Sam. Not, not Sam going away, but enhanced Sam is going away. You guys get what I mean. Super break! 265 5,000 damage. All right, so complete combustion is dispelled now. Uh, that means that we have to put her back into that state. There's a couple different ways that you could do this. Technically, if you had an insanely well speed tuned team, what you could do is you could go Firefly into Sparkle or Bronya and then Firefly again. Now, the action forward teams are a little bit weird because Firefly doesn't actually benefit from crit. Sure, like a little bit of extra damage will be there, um, but crit is not super good on her. So the only thing you'd be getting from that is action forward. But if you're getting 60% HP each time, then you can basically guarantee she gets to go the downside is that whenever you use her ult that's basically like using a piranha because you get an uh, action forward anyways so we're gonna go ahead and use her skill go ahead and do this gonna get a bunch of energy Hit him it's with not the falcon gonna kick. fix the problem falcon the problem being that kick. we don't have sam out yet but her next turn we will get 100 action forward and sam will come out so we gotta take okay but how is this a 240 ult cost character i feel like they should have just made her ult cost like why even make it 240? Just make it, it costs two skills or something. Take our HP, go down super low, use our ultimate. It's gotta be because of like her Edolons or something. It's going to allow us to heal when we use our skill, which is gonna be super nice. Now, unfortunately, we have the basic attack because we're out of skill points, but uh, we still heal, which is nice. And keep in mind- I wish you showed how much damage that did that. I wanna see how much like a basic, basic attack is if you're like Because we're out of skill points. Oh, wait, it wasn't a break hit. Oh, it doesn't matter then. All right. Uh, we still heal, which is nice. And keep in mind that Ron May's break efficiency is also helping us out a ton. Because uh, you're going to see a lot of break from Sam or Firefly here. It's going to break Argenti. It's going to basically put him into phase two. It's going to be super sick. 172. Pretty decent overall. Boot Hill's damage on single target was absolutely ridiculous. And so I think it looks a little bit worse. But it's honestly really nice, especially when there's multiple enemies. And the fact that you can break adjacent enemies and you don't have to use your ultimate on one guy to put the uh, physical weakness on him or the one guy i i feel like uh i feel like i got like the main over haul here oh wait what's he talking about here what's he talking about here teams i think i said all this though yeah i was talking about this earlier oh idolons i haven't seen or heard idolons do so hard not to let firefly after the pentacody quest now honestly for idolons i just don't really recommend going for these unless you're gonna giga whale and even then it's like what what is giga whale i first one um her skill 
ignores defense and get you and, and it doesn't consume skill points so pretty much it just protects you from skill issue your game that you can beat faster and then have less content on but anyways you know if you want to know what they he do he does have real quick. So basically, he was gonna make it so anything, the enhanced yeah. skill ignores 15 percent of the target defense and the enhanced skill won't consume skill points this is gonna make playing characters like Branya a lot more possible and a lot easier to do just because after you use that ultimate you get 100 percent action forward and as stated earlier she does have i feel like even with e1 actually it depends it depends what you're fighting, probably. But even with E1, I feel like Ron May would still be juice because it's just Ron May. Because like, if you're going for E1 Firefly, I feel like there's a chance you have E1 Ron May. Action forward on her skills. So, so like, you'd just be doing like a million crazy, damage. Though. E2 is basically going to make it so that after you break the enemy weakness, when you're in your enhanced state, you immediately get one extra turn on Sam. That's pretty Wait. crazy. You, you she has E2 D Hill. What? You can't just spam it forever. You do have to wait for that turn to expire, but you can effectively, if you play your cards right, you can get two turns every turn, which is absolutely insane. Uh, skill points, Doko, though. That, that's going to be the hardest thing. E3 is going to be a skill and basic attack level up. E4 is going to be an extra 50% effect res that's while useless. you're in your enhanced state, which, if you're unaware, would put you at 80% effect res. So you don't really have to worry about getting CC. That's like minus $500 CC'd, for Or if you specifically get like dotted and stat. stuff, you get a cleanse. So E5 is an ultimate intel level up. And E6 is going to increase Sam's fire res pen and increase weakness break efficiency when you're in your enhanced state obviously it's going to be a mess wait that's pretty busted she doesn't get that much damage buffs then huh because skill bonus increases don't do anything so the difference between e1 and e6 is going to be like like how fast you kill it okay that's it i don't know a word to quote not how fast you kill the enemy that's like the, the obvious how fast you kill the enemy it's like I don't know, like damage wise, I feel like there won't be that that big of a difference. Like you have the free res pen, but like Ron May gives you this. So like, it won't be the craziest thing. Especially if you look at like a Sim Universe clear. I think the E2 though is pretty big. E2 is pretty big. After E2, it's kind of like you are just a whale. I don't know. <laughs> and increase weakness break efficiency when you're in your enhanced state. Obviously, it's going to be a massive damage increase. Obviously, it's going to be insane for the team to be able to break so much more because 50% weakness break efficiency. Yeah, no, 50% weakness break though, already would make it so like efficiency. a boss. You would do like half of their weakness bar. <laughs> Would you have run by the team? Literally, full weakness bar? <laughs> you just break the whole thing. That would be insane. On top of weakness break efficiency with Ron May, she's absolutely ridiculous with that, right? Uh, don't wait for... and this is perfect this is how we lead into the e6 s5 gameplay from engineering plastics so this guy does like uh does like a lot of genshin whale showcases sometimes hsr if you know this guy anyways i actually want to see how much weakness break it does she do we get a little sound effects display here okay 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 Wait, uh, I'm not seeing like a big increase in weakness break, no? Okay, that's basic attack. And what about skill? Bro, casted it too fast, man. Okay, okay. Skill is doing like like uh like three fourths that's not three fourths that's like two thirds two thirds two thirds two thirds two thirds yeah that's like two thirds yeah you know that's a lot but it doesn't look like that much i feel like i feel like the skill right does like this amount and if you add ron May, it usually does like this amount so i feel like the c6 is adding like a basic attack extra on top I don't know if that's what it's supposed to add, though, because it said it was 50%. So maybe that is what it's supposed to look like. I'd have to see it on the boss. We'll see it on the boss. Also, Engineering Plastics is a victim of not moving the mouse. <laughs> oh my god, look at that damage, though. Just, you know, just blowing out one mouse. Oh my god. Wait, her technique did that much weakness break? What? Okay, see, this is what I'm saying. Gallagher is doing this much. <laughs> like, what? Gallagher is almost doing half of the bar, bro. And Gallagher gets an action forward. Look at that. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. Like, uh, 
Wait, did I read it wrong? Did I read it wrong? What her E6 does? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. He's got it right here. What did it say again? When your combustion say you get 50% extra weakness break. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just gotta be you get like a basic attack of value then. See, I'm telling you, Gallagher is literally broken. <laughs> Like, this guy is literally the Zhongling of break. He is literally Opa Zhongling of break. I don't care what it says. Gallagher is Opa Zhongling of break. Like, literally, after this, I'm making a tearless video, and he needs to be S tier. Lu Luocha is no longer. Luocha is no longer with the Super Break. Oh my god, 500k on one break. Oh my god, one million. He insta died. He insta died. He was at full HP. <laughs> he insta died. 371 super break. Then another super break because of her Dolans. And then Ron May. Okay, wait. Ron May's in 176k though. Jesus. Jesus. That's kind of big damage. Finally. I think Firefly is a really strong DPS. She's she busted. is really reliant on Harmony MC and getting- I'm telling you, I'm naming this video, Firefly Broken Must Pull Insane Unit! Super Breaks. Even the 2.3 live stream showcases her with Harmony MC. Another downside about her is that she uses a lot of skill- The only downside about her is she's not real Samus. Points. So you really need- End clip. <laughs> okay, what are we looking at? 30 minutes and I'm on the third video. You know, maybe we can't get through all these videos. Maybe we can't get through all these. You know what? You know what? Okay, these two are showcase base. Um, shout out to God Doggos and Rihu, okay? They're goats. They're goats. Shout out to uh, God Doggos and Rihu. But we're probably getting the same footage. I'm not going to lie. In my opinion. Um, they're doing showcases. Super all right, let's get some. Let's get some number juice here. Let's see what Gooba is saying. The Gooba, the Gooba master. Let's see what he's talking about. Let's see what he's talking about. Um, because he usually does like calcs and stuff, which is like, you know, that's cool. You know, you want to nerd out a little bit. Let's see what he's got going on. Let's see what he's got going on. ...state and that she is a super break DPS. Among base stats, she has the lowest HP in the game and the highest defense. Like, lowest base HP. Yes, that's why she needs Sam. The other stats are fu- Oh my god, 240 energy. Just kidding, that's fine too. Oh, I guess we should skip over like the uh Oh, he has the buffs written out from going into complete combustion. See, in case I miss anything. Let's see. Um action forward, know that she gets the speed. Whereas people saying 66 speed? I think that was I think that was Pokey's video though, where it was like level 12, right? Yeah, that was level 12. So 30 to 60 speed. Okay. Um enhanced basic and skill. 50% weakness break, yep. Wait, if she gets 60 speed and you're at like like 160, you go up to 220, no? That's like insane. That's, a, that's like insane. I can't count 210, but you get what I'm saying. That's like insane. Um, weakness break efficiency, yep. Extra break, uh, break vulnerability, yep. And then extra stats from attack, yep. And ignores toughness, yep. Know that, know that, know that. All right. What's he saying here? How much speed on Firefly? 2.8. I'm actually interested in this. At base speed, with the 60 speed buff she gets, you'll always get three turns per combustion state, since you are advanced by 100% when alting, and will have a speed of above 140. The next breakpoint is 210 speed, which is what we will reach for, considering her 60 speed buff. Holy. Gives you four turns. Holy. I'm going for a 160 speed. I'll a piece on my one, uh, my 35 fuel. I have 35 fuel for the domains. Okay, I need to get a full set plus planners. I'll a piece. You know what I'm doing actually on Sunday? I'm gonna condense my resin so I have even more. I'm gonna turn it all into immersifiers on Sunday. That is crazy tech. Wait, no, Sunday is too early. I need to turn it all into immersifiers. No, no, no. I can on Sunday. I could turn it all into immersifiers. Yep, big juice, big juice. The one after is 280, which we won't be aiming for. The combustion state resets when you clear a wave, so deleting the first wave and entering the second wave with more enhanced attacks is fantastic. 
Now to get into this ultimate with that 240 energy cost, we only have one way, and that is her normal skill. Do not use basics on this. Yeah, we know this. Um, what else? Okay, quality of life, break effect conversion. Oh, what does he say about this? <clears throat> Now her E6. Oh. Every 10 attack above 1800 equals uh, break effect. Oh, wait. It's the opposite of what I thought. I thought it was you get break. No, no, no. Okay, no. I thought it right. I thought it right. I think I just said it in my head wrong earlier. Um, So if you're at 2000 attack, you get 16% break. Solid. That we didn't yet see converts every 10 attack above 1800 attack. Yeah, so point. getting that, uh, what was it, like 490 break that Brax had, that's like pretty, that's pretty easy. 8% break effect. So if she has a thousand base attack, every 1% attack is 0.8% break effect, making a 10% very powerful to get on top of break effect. It would also do a tiny bit more kit based damage, but this break effect conversion is the real source. <sighs> she gains a massive break effect boost, some effort. 37 extra break too. Just to hit 48. Wait, she also gets 5 speed for free. Okay, yeah, 160 speed is easy then. Nah, I got 160 speed. I might even pop out with a 170 speed on my Samus just to flex on him. Just to flex on him. Set natural efforts in the combustion state and 5 speed in her Let's hold out though, let's, you know, let's be humble. Let's be humble. speed amount, her, yo. Surely it won't magically get her to her breakpoint. For Eidolons, her first two are OP, but not needed for Firefly to perform. Yep, I was talking about that. Um, best build, new new relic set. True, makes sense. If you're coping, you could go like two piece, two piece, or you could go Quantas. That's a classic. Um, yep. Wait, Quantas? Oh, I was about to say it's only versus Quantum Week. I thought Quantas base, not Quantum Week, was only two percent worse. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Am I just gonna use my Quantas? Nah, I never cope. My Samus is having her on set bonus for Juicer. It still won't beat the new set naturally, but it's there for those break effect pieces you drop. Two piece, two piece is not that bad though. I mean, she does need, just need break effect though, which makes sense. But you're losing the uh, defense ignore. So, uh, makes sense. Planar set, yep, that makes sense. Stats, go attacks, you can get the extra break effect because there's no break effect main stat on body. And yeah, and then stat goals. Let's see what he's saying for stat goals. Etc. There are breakpoints you want to reach for sure, and then there are some extra optimizations. Oh my god, yeah, and then Ron May is also giving 10 speed. Bro, I feel like there's going to be people, you know what, Code is going to have a 300 speed Firefly. Code is going to have that. Somehow he's going to find a way. He's going to find a way to get his Firefly at 300 speed. I'm looking at, though, I feel like my Firefly can hit, like, 2, 220, 230, though, in combat. In combat. <laughs> 150 speed is obtained from speed boots, the new planar set, her speed traces, and Raw May's 10% speed buff, exactly on the point. 150 speed in the combustion state hits 210 speed, allowing you to hit four actions during the state, including the very first one. You'd need an additional 70 speed for anything on top. The only other substantial breakpoint I found is 165 speed to hit reactions in the very first cycle on the first wave, but your buffers would have to be faster. 165. Oh yeah, but if you have that with no buffs, it's not juice. Let's check out her light cones. Her signature has a 4 star worthy base attack to avoid two crazy numbers with her E6 conversion. Um, we've seen the light cone earlier. Okay. That's what you got for rankings though. Rankings, her light cone is only 10% better than Eon. Wait, that's not bad. That's not bad. Wait, that's actually not bad. She is super free to play friendly. What? Only 10% better? S1? That's huge. That's huge. Um, team problem is going to be she has one team. Yep. See, the thing is, though, okay, I feel like realistically, if you really like Firefly, you probably already have this team, though. You know what I'm saying? And then even if you're a new player, even if you don't have these characters, they made it so you can get Harmony MC. Not having Ron May, you can get her later. You know what I'm saying? If you really like Samus, you know? But I feel like most people who are later into the game, you know, you're at least above TL60. You probably have Ron May already. 
I would hope, you know, I would assume if you're going for the, you know, going for the Samus. But if not, she'll still, I think she's still going to be busted. Standard I think she's damage, still going to be busted. And there is zero way to go around it. More break supports in the future will change this, but 2.4 at least has no sign of doing so. In the future, I definitely see alternative teams, but not right now. What are you saying here? Where I replaced Do you need Ron May? Um, talking about Asta team, Pella team, in replacement of Ron May. Oh wait, this is Pella with Ron May. With no Trailblazer? That's a mega Copa. Yeah, that's a, bro, that is a mega Copa. Oh my god, no Ron May loses one mil damage. Okay, but that's Asta though. I feel like Pella here's gotta be better, no? With the extra defense shred, since um speed can only do so much, I feel like. Even with like your team being full juiced. It's Asta with her stacks at five the whole fight and her speed buff during the whole fight, which is impossible to do on a Firefly that's already at 210 speed. Yeah, I mean, I feel like anyone could think about this, right? Ron May, she she buffs break. Like Ron May is just the break god. She is the goddess of break. You know, she gives weakness break efficiency. She gives break effect to your team. She gives speed. She gives her own break damage. She gives your team break damage. She gives break damage on the break damage. She makes the enemy just disappear among the sea of butterflies. True. Um, what else? Firefly in pure fiction. Wait, I didn't see anyone talk about this, sir. So. Well, pure fiction, I speculated during my pool video that she would be weak in it outside of a break pure fiction. And I mean, in her normal team from earlier, she is. And the only way I, I see I don't think it we've ever had a break pure fiction, though. That's like never been a thing. Strong is either in a break pure fiction or at E2 Firefly. But outside of that, we can replace that fourth slot as stated earlier. And in pure fiction, we can add in Himiko. Firefly always Himiko. deletes the first set of enemies for a free five enemies dead every wave. Himiko then sends a follow-up, deleting the next wave with Rome's break efficiency. I don't um, have dance dance dance. I've been playing for a whole year. <laughs> I've been playing the game for a whole year and I don't have a single dance dance dancer. I'm not dancing with the dance dance. I just don't got one. How many MC on Dance 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 makes Firefly get an additional turn off during complete combustion too. It's a delicious Goba certified certified cook. I 40 k the Pure Fiction on this server with this team. You can use her to instead of Firefly like usual, but this team is really fun and makes her Pure Fiction viable, which is awesome news. As for Apocalyptic Shadow, it's a boss rush mode, and at least this rotation, you want to break the boss ASAP since they'll take increased damage once broken and give you SP. What is our apocalypse show going to be? Gives you skill points and increases weakness break damage and increases super break. So, a Firefly buff. Firefly and Boo Hill, actually. Oh my god, the Boo Hill showcase is in this? I'm ready to see a Boo Hill showcase 100% just gone. I feel like free to play Boo Hill can literally just delete HP bars. That thing is like disgusting. Yes. You know? GG. After that, they're GG. Argenti pull up to see. Welcome to the night. Ba, 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 ba. And you're finished.